In the realm of technology, every new release promises to eclipse its predecessor. Today, we delve into the unexpected revelations of the M3 Pro MacBook compared to the M2 Pro 14 inches MacBook Pro. In a landscape where tech enthusiasts eagerly await the next big thing, these two titans stand toe to toe, each boasting a unique blend of features and capabilities. Curiosity peaked? Buckle up as we embark on a journey of discovery, examining the intricacies of these marvels of engineering. So will the M3 Pro MacBook live up to its hype? Let's find out. First impressions matter, and the M3 Pro MacBook certainly knows how to make one. This tech marvel captivates with its bold space black color, a striking departure from the lighter space gray of the previous M2 Pro. But it's not just about color. The color matching MacSafe cable and black aluminum cable add a touch of sophistication, creating a cohesive aesthetic that's hard to ignore. Aesthetically, the M3 Pro seems to have an edge, but does it maintain this advantage in other aspects? Moving on to the display and audio, we discover some intriguing disparities. On the surface, the M3 Pro and M2 Pro both sport practically identical displays. However, when it comes to brightness, the M3 Pro has a slight edge, boasting 600 nits in SDR compared to the M2 Pro's 500 nits. This subtle upgrade ensures a more vibrant and engaging viewing experience. However, the audio department tells a different story. In a surprising turn of events, the M3 Pro appeared quieter in audio tests. This raised a few eyebrows and sparked concerns about potential downgrades in speaker quality. Question marks linger over whether this is a deliberate design decision, a software issue, or a hardware downgrade. While the improved display brightness is a welcome enhancement, the audio discrepancy is a puzzle that needs solving. With an edge in display brightness but a potential downgrade in audio, the M3 Pro presents an interesting mix. Diving deeper, we explore the webcam and internal components. The M3 Pro MacBook's inclusion of a 1080p webcam, an upgrade from the M2 Pro, is a nod to our increasingly digital world where high-quality virtual interactions are key. It pairs this with studio-quality microphones, promising crisp, clear audio for all your communication needs. But let's not stop there. Let's venture into the belly of the beast, the internal components. Here, we find a battleground of innovation and compromise. The M3 Pro's heat block is noticeably larger, suggesting better thermal management for its beefier chip. It's an impressive show of force, but what's this we see? A reduction in available RAM channels? That's right, the M3 Pro is limited to a bandwidth of 150 gigabytes per second, falling short of the M2 Pro's 200 gigabytes per second. This limitation has an impact on RAM capacity, with the M3 Pro unable to support eight terabytes. It's a surprising choice, one that could potentially hinder power users who rely on massive amounts of RAM. Yet every decision in tech is a trade-off, a delicate balancing act between power, performance and practicality. The M3 Pro seems to have a few tricks up its sleeve, but are they enough to justify potential downsides? Next, we turn our attention to the SSD performance. Now, both the M3 Pro and M2 Pro maintain the same number of NAND memory chips, that being two. However, when put to the test, the M3 Pro pulls ahead in an impressive fashion. Its read and write speeds have seen a significant boost, outpacing those of its predecessor, the M2 Pro. This upgrade in speed is a welcome improvement and will certainly be appreciated by those dealing with large files or running demanding software. The faster SSD performance of the M3 Pro means quicker boot times, faster file transfers and smoother overall system operation. This kind of speed enhancement is instrumental in enhancing user experience. Whether you're a professional needing to multitask efficiently, or a casual user looking for a seamless computing experience. The M3 Pro impresses with its speed improvements, but how does it fare in other performance aspects? Geekbench 6 testing reveals an unexpected twist. Now let's delve into the numbers. The M3 Pro surprisingly features fewer transistors, 37 billion to be precise, than its predecessor, the M2 Pro, which boasts a whopping 40 billion. This reduction might initially cause some eyebrows to raise, as transistors are the fundamental building blocks of any processor, and more often than not, more transistors mean more processing power. But here's where the twist comes in. Despite having fewer transistors, the M3 Pro still manages to outshine the M2 Pro in Geekbench 6's single and multi-core scores. It's a testament to Apple's engineering prowess, showing that it's not just about the quantity of components, but how effectively they are utilized. 
So, while the M3 Pro might be the underdog in terms of transistor count, it certainly punches above its weight when it comes to performance. Despite fewer transistors, the M3 Pro still manages to outperform in single and multi-core scores. Let's shift gears to the graphics performance. The M3 Pro and M2 Pro both boast impressive graphics capabilities, but they're not entirely equal. The M3 Pro surprised us all by featuring fewer graphic cores, leading to a reduction in power usage. This may seem like a smart move, considering the ever-increasing demand for energy-efficient devices. But here's the twist. This core reduction wasn't without its trade-offs. In certain tasks requiring heavy graphics processing, the M3 Pro lagged behind the M2 Pro. It's like winning the race with a slower car, but then finding out the car can't perform as well on a different track. This is a critical point to consider, especially for users whose work revolves around graphic-intensive tasks. While the M3 Pro excels in many areas, it's in the realm of graphics performance where it takes a step back. The M3 Pro stumbles here, sparking discussions about Apple's strategic decisions. Now we move on to the real-world performance tests. Let's talk about how the M3 Pro and M2 Pro perform when put to the test in everyday tasks. It's one thing to have impressive specs on paper, but another to see how these machines truly perform under real-world conditions. In photo editing tasks, the M3 Pro flexed its muscles, handling complex edits and filters with ease. When it came to exporting images from Figma, the M3 Pro left the M2 Pro in the dust, finishing the task in a fraction of the time. Not to mention, the M3 Pro also showed its prowess in 3D rendering tasks. Rendering a Blender project was noticeably faster on the M3 Pro, demonstrating the impressive power of its new chip. These tests show that while specs and numbers are important, it's the real-world performance that matters most. In practical applications, the M3 Pro shines, outperforming the M2 Pro in several tasks. Cinebench testing and thermals provide further insights. The M3 Pro, under the scrutiny of Cinebench, boasted noticeable gains in performance. These results came as a breath of fresh air, especially considering the discrepancies we've observed in other technical aspects. Let's not forget, however, that performance isn't the only factor in the equation. Enter thermals, the unsung heroes of laptop longevity and efficiency. Interestingly, despite the M3 Pro's lower power consumption, it ran a tad warmer than its predecessor. This might raise some eyebrows, but remember, heat is an inevitable product of power. What's truly intriguing is how the M3 Pro managed to maintain higher clock speeds, suggesting an improved efficiency in its thermal design, even if it runs a touch hotter. It's a delicate balancing act, showcasing the intricacies of hardware design and thermal management. The M3 Pro demonstrates improved efficiency but runs slightly hotter than the M2 Pro. Finally, we come to the surprising aspect, battery life. The M3 Pro MacBook, despite its power-packed performance, demonstrates an impressive endurance. When put head-to-head -head with its predecessor, the M2 Pro, the M3 Pro consistently showcased a far superior battery longevity. This unexpected discovery can be attributed to the extra efficiency cores that the M3 Pro brings to the table. Against expectations, the M3 Pro excels, boasting over double the remaining battery percentage. Wrapping up, the M3 Pro versus M2 Pro comparison provides some food for thought. The M3 Pro's space black design certainly turned heads, while its brighter display and improved SSD performance gave it a competitive edge. However, the quieter audio and reduced RAM capacity sparked concerns, as did the fewer transistors and graphic cores. Yet these seemingly negative aspects were offset by the M3 Pro's superior performance in real-world tasks. It handled photo editing, rendering and exporting tasks with aplomb, outperforming the M2 Pro in several scenarios. The M3 Pro also impressed with its battery life, lasting significantly longer than its predecessor. These findings demonstrate that while the M3 Pro may have taken a few steps back in certain areas, it has made leaps forward in others. Despite some unexpected changes, the M3 Pro presents a compelling option, highlighting the intricate trade-offs in technological advancements.